Well g'day everyone and welcome to Mooney's Kitchen. Today I'm going to make a chickpea rissole. I'm just going to do a little side salad with it. So if you've had enough meat, chicken through the week and you've had your intake of fish, you want something a little bit vegetarian or something light, this is the recipe for you. It's very very quick and easy to make. You can freeze it, no problems, and have it for another night. Um, it's also super cheap. So let's get cooking on Mooney's Kitchen. Okay, the first thing we need to do into my saucepan, I'm going to pour one 400 gram can of chickpeas. So just bring this to the boil until they go nice and soft. Okay, once it comes to the boil, just turn it down and gently simmer until they're nice and soft. They've been cooking for about a minute or so, so I'm now going to drain them. I want to save some of the uh, juice, let them drain through a sieve into another saucepan because I want about a couple of tablespoons of that juice mixed in when I blend this together. Okay so put your chickpeas into the blender or your food processor and I'm going to add about three tablespoons of the juice. And what we're looking for is a nice creamy velvety texture. So we should be looking at something like that. Nice and creamy. Okay, so into my frying pan, I'm gonna put a good glug of olive oil. Maybe about um, six to seven tablespoons of olive oil in there. And I've got two large onions which I've sliced. And what I wanna do is I wanna cook these on a medium high heat until they're nice and soft. And this may take up to eight to 10 minutes, depending on your pan and the stove, the heat that you have. I'm not gonna rush it, I'm just gonna let it just cook nice and gently. A Little bit of pepper. The onions are a little bit brown now, which is what we want. I'm gonna put a little bit of salt in. I'm gonna add two cloves of crushed, or chopped, sorry, chopped garlic, and one tablespoon of ground cumin. Just give that all a good mix. Turn your heat right down. Just let that cook through. So that all it intensifies. The onions are caramelized now. So it's all a beautiful flavor. And I'm just gonna toast that cumin and get all those flavors in there. Now your pan needs to be on a low heat now. It smells absolutely beautiful. All starting to caramelize and that cumin is just such a wonderful spice. Okay, now I'm going to add some sage from my garden. Beautiful fresh sage, about a tablespoon. Get that in. And now a good serving of flat leaf parsley. It's coarsely chopped. Now I'm going to switch off the heat. Give this all a good mix. Okay, now that your chickpea is nice and blended up, just put it into a bowl. So now it's just a question of putting it all in together. I'm gonna mix caramelized onion with the sage and the ground cumin. And just give this all a good mix through. Just mix it all in. Okay, now to this mix I'm going to add one beaten egg and I'm going to add three tablespoons of self-raising flour. Okay, 
I guess the self-raising flour when you cook them is going to make the rissole a little bit lighter than as opposed to using plain flour and give this all a good mix in. Now it's the time to season a little bit more salt and then some pepper. Okay now what you want to do is you want to put depending on what size you want, I, keep, I generally try and keep these about a golf ball size and what I've done is I've put some plain flour onto a pizza tray just sprinkled it on and I'm doing these around about a, oh, they're probably yeah about a golf, just a little bit bigger than a golf ball if you do them about this size you'll get about seven once they're on the tray like this you're just going to turn them over and flatten them down a little bit into the flour so they don't stick too much. And just repeat this process until they're all done. Okay, so a non-stick pan is the best for this. Uh, you want a little bit of oil, although it is non-stick. should be able to get the whole batch in one hit. Okay, so now we're just going to turn them over, gently. Okay guys, there you have it. That is my chickpea rissole. I'm just going to squeeze a little bit of lemon juice over there. Like that. And give it a try. Put a little bit of sweet chili sauce on. And it's got the cumin and all those beautiful flavors. Try a bit of salad. I put a bit of olive oil on the salad. I've mixed in a few um, red onions and uh, some just some tomato, um, a little bit of fresh sage on there, as you can see, and um, and it's just a beautiful soft filling inside. Look at that. Okay, let's give it a try. Mmm, that is delicious. Really nice. Beautiful and light. Lovely flavors. It's really, really lovely. Don't go too crazy with the, um, the cumin because it can be quite overpowering. The sweet chili sauce takes away that um, pungent flavor if you put too much in, but you know, I think you'll enjoy this. It's really refreshing. Well, thanks very much for watching Mooney's Kitchen. I hope you enjoyed that recipe. Um, it's something a little bit different. I know there are tons of uh, vegetarian recipes out there, but I do include vegetarian options in my diet as well as I'm sure you do. 
Until next time, take care. See ya.